I'm not going there for anything less than gold. And um, yeah, I mean, if I get a silver or bronze, I'm, I'm going to be happy. Right. But I'm, I don't want a silver or bronze right now. I want a gold. <laughs> right. I want a gold medal. So my my whole training since you know the World Championships indoor mm -hmm. has been to go to the Olympics and medal, and not just any medal, but get a gold medal. You mentioned not having a team. What's it like to go from not feeling like you have a team to all of a sudden being part of Team USA? Like, what does that transition feel like? Um, it feels it feels awesome. So last year outdoors was the first time I got to say I'm a you know on the team for USA and I got to represent the USA team, and um, it just makes you feel like you're part of something bigger. And so some going from something you know you feel like this tiny little person really trying to make it to you're a part of something, you're part of the United States, you used to wear the red, white, and blue, that was mind-boggling, you know, I was kind of like, whoa, I really did it, you know, I was really excited about it, but, yeah, making a team is like, kind of like college, you know, you get to be a part of something again, a part of something bigger. So you've, you've added about two feet to your long jump since CSU? Yeah. How'd you do that? <laughs> um, lost a little bit of weight. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm a little bit lighter, but just as strong, mm -hmm. and um, my technique has changed. So I went from kind of wish-washy, you know, inconsistent to much more consistent and much more disciplined in how I did my workouts, and that made a difference in the competitions as well. And so everything is a lot more crisp and clean than it used to be, and I still got a lot of work to do even then. So. You feeling any butterflies heading up to or coming up on a week now? Um, to be honest, it hasn't hit me yet. Okay. And I think it's because I just got back from a couple of other meets. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I got back Wednesday and today's Friday. And um, you know, so I get a time to actually go <sighs> relax <laughs> for a second. And I don't think, I think maybe when I get to the opening ceremonies, I'll go, oh my goodness. But right now I feel like I'm, I'm very, very happy that I mean it. And it's, it's wonderful I have all these people to support me. And wonderful that to see everyone here. I mean, it's amazing. People think it doesn't matter to me, but oh my gosh, does it matter? Right. And um, but it, it hasn't hit me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just you know, as soon as it does, I think once I get out in the atmosphere and I'm around those athletes, all that hunger is going to come back really quick. Right. What does it mean for you to have CSU, the university that you represented, kind of show this support for you and really be willing to come out all the stuff? Like, what does it mean for them to do this for you? And from what I've in the past, they haven't really done a lot for their Olympic athletes. Like, what does that mean to have your university do this for you? Um, it's a change. I think it's a step forward because I think it also allows, I mean, if you look at it just in terms of recruiting, I mean, if CSU puts a little bit more investment in, you know, athletes who were former Rams, just even those athletes do well, they can bring in more, you know, more athletes, more everything. So, um, that I think is going to be a big change. I think once people start seeing the kind of support they give to former athletes or former Rams, um, they're going to get a lot more students to come here too. So um, I think it's a, a, a positive thing. I love that um, now they're they're on board and and they were never not on board. They've always supported me through everything. I mean, I've been here for you know a long time since I graduated, and I'm still part of the team. I still help coach. I still wear you know green, and I'm still a Ram seems like, uh, I mean, coming off the Stats right the now. World, um, just an amazing performance there, and it, like you said, you've been to a couple since then, um, you just came back from Switzerland, if I think. Yeah, you're right. So, um, just, what's your uh, mentality between the worlds and right now? Um, I think my mentality is I have what it takes. that until, you know, until I made a world team, until I got fifth, sixth place at the world championship, until I got a silver medal indoors this year at the indoor world championship, and up until now that I made the USA team, I know that I have what it takes, and whereas before I just hoped I had what it takes, and so my, my whole mentality is, I know I have what it takes, I just have to do it when it counts.